So today in our file reader series, we are going to learn about after processing action. This is very simple concept, but it's good to know why we are going to use it. What is the requirement of it without knowing what is the purpose of it? Even after gaining the knowledge, it is not useful. You'll be not able to use in real time scenarios. So it's always good to know. So I want to make sure to give an easiest example as possible. So I created a folder known as Apple and I have like three files over here. I think uh, it might be an HL7 files. So what is inside this file is not the concept today, but what we are going to do with this files is a concept. So I want to move these files to some other location, some destination and process them. So what I'll do, I'll go to my Mirth Connect. I already created a channel name after processing action. Double click it, go to source. And in the file later, it's your wish, whatever you want to do. I want to, I did it intentionally to erase the previous details. I'll go to file later now. Now it's empty and clear. That looks good, right? Perfect. I'll go to the folder. I'll copy the path and I'll come back. I'll paste this over here and test the connection. The connection is active. Now I'm not going to do any changes over here. And you can see the interval is it's going to pick the file for every five seconds. And I'll keep the pool as, okay. I'll save it and I'll deploy the channel. You can see instantly the three files have been picked up. That's amazing, right? And if you keep on refreshing it, the files have been picked up again, again. It's almost three times, three into nine. If you keep on refreshing it again. So the problem is the receiver likes to receive these files, one, two, three, only once. If you keep on sending to them, it's a big problem. It will create a lot of issues and it might error out from your end. So we should instantly delete this file from this folder or move it somewhere. That's where the concept lies. For example, if you're sending any patient details, if you keep on, keep on sending, the patient is admitted, admitted, admitted again. So it would be very confusing, right? For example, if you generate an A01 for admit, after three seconds, you can again send the same A01 admit. So the receiving end will think what's happening here. Hey man, we cannot admit the same patient with the same MRN number multiple times. So it's always uh, uh, like, serious thing to make sure we are not going to send the duplicate files again and again. So you might say, you can see almost around 45 times. So yeah, it's a lot, lot heck of times. Yeah. You might say, no, I, I just want to keep the interval time four or five hours, but even after five hours, it's going to send it again. So there should be a function where it's going to remove these files and save it in some particular place or whether it's going to be deleted. So the same files will not be sent again and again. Now that's where the concept lies. If we go here, we have an option known as after processing action. First, uh, my, all my videos will focus firstly on what would be the problem and the solution for it. So as we understood the problem, the solution for us, I'll try to move this file to some specific location, move to directory. Okay. I will, I already created a move directory. I'll copy this path and what I'll do, I'll give this directory over here and I'll save the changes. What happens here is like, once we do it, perfect. Uh, so that last count was around some 84 or something like that. So after that, it has been sent for five, six, seven and it has stopped because there are no f the files came to the move folders there are no files over in the apple it picked up from here and it pasted over here that's good right that's uh, very good to our better understanding what we'll do we'll do the testing once again i'll copy the files and paste it over here Let's see within five seconds, this will be removed. Again, it will be pasted over here. Means this is working perfectly and the count is three. That's good. But now the problem exists. For example, someone comes and sees over here. Hey, the file name is one, two, three again over here. They don't know whether this have been processed or not. So they want a particular uh, process which says these files are already executed or processed or this there has been something done with this particular files. So what we'll do, go to our channels and we'll go to the source over here. I want a specific file name. For example, I'll drag over here and do something with this. 
what I'll do, I'll drag the date. Okay, or else I, I'll do something more. Yep, yeah, uh, let's keep the date as of now. And let's change it. Deploy it. Nothing will happen because there are no files in the Apple folder. Go to move. I'll cut them from here and I'll paste them in the Apple folder. You can see this files will be removed soon after three seconds and pasted in the move with the date. So with this name change, people will understand these files have been already processed. You can even give the name like uh, sent. You can add something like over here sent. So anybody coming to this particular folder will understand these files have been already processed. You can even do this inside this particular yeah move to file name directory so you can give whatever you want you can want you can give date you can give channel name generally i don't prefer giving channel name i will give the original file name and i'll add something to it okay so that can be done uh, pretty much easily you don't need to do uh, anything more for example i want to add send i'll do something like this and type hyphen there is a separate video for this uh, which I've done uh, with the part in the previous videos you can look into it but uh, in a simple note I will just I just want to add something like sent in front of it and I'll save this and I'll deploy this particular thing and for our understanding purpose we'll clear all the statistics okay you might be asking why it is still zero why it has not been sent because I didn't paste the files right I'll go to tutorials I'll paste all these files go back and I'll paste it over here that's perfect and see automatically the files have been picked up when we go to the move folder you can see sent one sent two sent three this actually helps uh, the HL7 integration analyst or whomever who is working on the month that these files have been picked up and these are moved to the sent folder you can rename the folder to sent okay sent a01 or whatever it is uh, it's your wish patient details so that would be uh, really helpful to understand what's hap what happened with this, those particular files and those files will not be sent again and again you can see those are received only once so that's how we can uh, ignore a lot of errors and uh, resending the duplicates in Merth connect if we are using file reader now we can do one thing we don't want uh, the files at all we want to get rid of the space and we don't want the files at all so in that scenario for example if we are me keep on maintaining the data for example in real time it will not be three files right it might be around like thousands and lakhs of files so once I send to the destination I don't want all these files together so what we can do we can just after processing action just make it to delete so automatically those files will be deleted so what I'll do I'll just copy them okay now ignore this uh, particular folder we we have nothing to do with this particular folder I'll just paste it over here okay and we will save the changes and deploy it perfect so again the files have been picked up once again and those have been deleted and don't don't uh, focus on these two other folders for your understanding what I'll do I'll delete these two folders perfect right and I'll paste the files over here or I'll create a file new file text document one dot txt that's it once I created it uh, it has been sent and it has been deleted now the count should be something like seven perfect so with this concept we have completed what is the purpose of uh, after processing action why we need to use this particular after processing action to save the data to ignore uh, duplicates being sent to the sending location to ignore like multiple files getting mixed up and it's very very easy to maintain the data by using after processing action even to maintain the file name whether they have been sent or not so all these topics are literally important in real time even though it looks a very simple concept but it's very useful 
in real time. Yep, have a great day.